Today, SpaceX launched a set of broadband communication satellites into orbit on one of its Falcon 9 rockets. Commercial launches like these are now the leading edge of American innovation in space, seeming to take over the spot long occupied by NASA. But the reality is that NASA had a lot to do with creating the private space industry in the first place. I started with NASA in 1985. Even before then, I had an interest in the commercialization of space. I've always felt that, just like our own frontier in this country, the government goes, Calvary builds a fort, the settlers arrive, and the army moves on. That paradigm should apply to space as well. At the time I joined, it was still the Apollo program people, the very can-do approach that we can do anything, brilliant team who only knew one way of doing business to develop systems that the government would own and operate. And it worked very, very well. But by the start of the 21st century, NASA was struggling. The International Space Station was delayed, and the Space Shuttle Columbia exploded, killing seven astronauts. In 2004, President Bush issued a new space policy, calling on NASA to partner with and invest in private companies. In 2005, we stood up the COTS program. COTS is the Commercial Orbital Transportation Services, a program that stimulates development of private sector capabilities. The goal was for companies to demonstrate that they could carry cargo to low Earth orbit. In the first round of the COTS investment, we picked SpaceX and rocket plane Kistler. SpaceX was doing well. Rocket plane Kitzler unfortunately wasn't. So when they dropped out, we then had the second round and we picked Orbital ATK as the new second partner. NASA's space shuttle program ended in 2011. But by the next year, SpaceX was ferrying cargo to the ISS, followed by Orbital's inaugural flight in 2013. Between the two companies, they've flown more than 20 resupply missions. The COTS program was more successful than we ever imagined it could be. Not only did it help NASA get cargo to the space station in a reliable, cost-effective manner, but it created a whole new industry. Look at what we did with the Falcon 9. We invested technical support and money in SpaceX. They have sold that to launch satellites around the world. America's market share in that global communication satellite launch market had pretty much fallen to zero. And now, most half the world's market has come back to the United States. We're doing that same model today on lunar transportation, a perfect mixture of government and the private sector working together to explore space. I think there will always be that model of NASA doing the difficult things and the dangerous stuff and the private sector moving in behind to help build on what NASA's done. <laughs>